Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to another amazing Element 3D tutorial and this is class 15. And in this video, I'll talk about this amazing creation process inside of After Effects by using Element 3D. So this will be a lot of fun without wasting any further time then let's get started. So guys, right now we're in After Effects version 2020 and this video tutorial idea is exactly inspired from this Instagram post which is already in Video Copilot official Instagram page and that's so realistic and so amazing. But I'm trying to recreate this post in my way so I hope this will be a lot of fun. And guys, if you are new in this channel then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and also press the bell notification button. Basically what you have to do, you have to take a new composition and then a same process, take a new solid layer, then renaming it like Element 3D and then we have to apply Element 3D effect from the effects panel, something like that. And then you have to jump into Element 3D. So this is scene setup of Element 3D and inside of this I have to do very basic steps. So which is uh, like I have installed this things like Motion Design Pack 2. From here I am using these many things and uh, from here let's take this things. 12 and this looks so much gearable parts like this have so many gears like up gears low gears and all and select this one and then I'm just changing this auxiliary animation from none to channel 1 only this one will be our first channel like auxiliary channel 1 and then take another one and then let's take this Hinks 09 which is this one looks amazing so much gearable parts as well and no need to change it on auxiliary animation in any nothing just make it to none and now take another one something like Hinks 01 and let's take another this one because as I already told you that this is completely up to you so yep this is fine let's place it anywhere something like that yep this is good enough now what you have to do just select this group folder 1 and just make it to same group 02 so now it will become another group and this group will be the symmetrical option select this one and turn on the symmetrical axis in Z axis select this one now what happened exactly same will be duplicate in Z axis now select this group folder and then just make some little bit like this space and also this much is good enough okay so fine so in this both groups are exactly same so if i change anything on this group it will update automatically on same group now let's change some colors here so in this case let's change it to a little bit my case in something like this area should be a little more golden kind of thing so yeah see the both areas are exactly working very well and let's change this colors as well a little bit glow select this glow colors and let's change the color to something something dark kind of thing let's change the environment i completely forget it about this okay so this environment is work perfectly if i turn this on you can see this is a backlight kind of environment and yeah this is good and now press ok and now the magic will be starting now go to group one and from there's a particle replicator select this and from point let's change it to ring so now it will become a ring and before that doing anything we have to take a new camera so right click new and then take a camera and let's make it to 35 millimeters and then rename it like render and then cam and then just press ok now after that we have to change the particle count to let's take around 12 and now we have this much particles here and it looks so realistic and now let's make it to something here if you want to change the rotation you can exactly change it to top but in this case I'm just changing the camera positions here so this is exactly working properly now the animation will be starting from here so you have to go to this particle look and over there you can find this particle rotation so I'm just making it to like four seconds animation okay so I already cut out this area to the the four seconds part and now let's create a background so I just already created this background here so just copy this gradient ramp effect from my previous comp select this and take a new solid name it BG press ok make it down and just control V so the, all the backgrounds are right now same okay so now go to this element 3d and now we have this particle rotation panel Y rotation part so if you increase the Y rotation you can exactly see the magic is happening here guys I hope you really love this video now and if you really love this video don't forget to subscribe guys please do subscribe like comment and share always and now we have to make some animations so just make this keyframes here on the first frame now here press U so get the first keyframe here now go to the middle of this frame like two seconds and now here let's make it to 90 for the first one and this one like Y rotations let's make it to 1 okay so now and go to the last keyframe and let's make it to 0 back 
and make the one also become a zero. Now make sure each and every keyframe should be the first keyframe and the last keyframe should be same. Then it the loop effect will be continuing. So let's see how it will look like. See the animation is looks so amazing. Now if you notice the animation is coming here and it's become some jerk. See this area is some little bit jerky. So how you can fix this? Select these two keyframes right click keyframe assistance and make it to easy is out and select this one simply right click and keyframe and make it to easy is and select these two and keyframe assistance and make it to easy is in so now when you play this it will become stop smoothly something like that and it's back so it looks so realistic nice and now we have to do a lot of stuff now as i remember i already make an auxiliary animations from here so let's go to the auxiliary animation channel one and from the channel one you have find this many options like ch positions if you change the positions here this area is exactly animated separately so in this case i have only the rotations panel here so in this y axis i just want to rotate it to a little bit here so if you want to rotate it anywhere see so let's make a keyframe on these two and make it to center here and same like let's make it to one from here and let's make it to minus 90 degree and this is i looks so crazy whenever we'll do the output will come different you can play with this lot of stuff and let's make it to zero back so let's play it again let's see how it look like see wow it looks so amazing every time you can do whatever you want to do now the basic funniest part is if you want to go to the scene setup and if you want to change anything the entire output will be affected and the entire output will be changed automatically now let me show you the exact comp how I did the all the parts and all then you can understand it completely. Now the basic animation and basic process is same as I shown you. Let's go to my original comp. So this is my original comp. This is my BG layer and this is my main element 3D layer which is this one. I just turn off the motion blur here and let's turn off the camera depth of field. So just turn off the depth of field and this animation is exactly same like this before. So if I open this element 3D from the scene setup you can exactly see all the processes same. Now see in this scene setup I have added this many particles here and if I turn this element off you can exactly see how it's look like now I have changed some colors corrections I have added some textures here see these textures are different so that the reflection will not getting properly it will become a, some rusty kind of thing and that's it and the process is exactly same like we have to make it to like symmetrical in z-axis and then just press ok and after that this one is basically for world position now let me show you what exactly it will do when you turn this both on let's turn off and on then you can understand what exactly it is so if I turn it off you can exactly exactly see some depth is not here right now and if I turn this on you can see some blue foggy depth is it will be come here so it's basically from world positions okay so now let's turn this off and let's see how it will look like after that we have added some glow here see this is the glow layers are separated same I duplicate this and let's make it to illumination part and make it to glow and some parallel lights that I have added to make some amazing lighting setups and all and then the basic color corrections if I make it turn it off it looks so weird and when I turn this on the exact output will look like this and after that I have just turned this on my motion blurs because whenever the output will start animating the motion blur should be most part important part of this tutorial so guys this is it for today I'm just trying to recreate the from the original post from our Andrew Kramer video copilot Instagram post and uh, I tried my level best and if you really love this please appreciate by pressing the subscribe button and also follow us on our social media handles like Facebook Instagram LinkedIn and Twitter all links are in description box below and also press the like comments and share button because that is very very necessary guys i will see you in my next video with some more amazing content so till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking keep watching this world